Today on the channel, I'm going to put my whole heart into this very review with the Mattel Creations exclusive Coliseum Collection, Brett Hitman Heart, Jim the Anvil Knight Heart, The Heart Foundation. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Creations Coliseum Collection exclusive unboxing and review and today on the channel we got the Heart Foundation, Jim the Evil Knight Heart and Brett Hitman Heart. But for all your Coliseum Collection needs make sure you're hitting up of course Mattel Creations. Head over there on March 14th at noon Eastern time as this does go for sale at that time and I gotta give a special thank you to Mattel for sending me an early copy of this one to review right here but I'll be there on Thursday as well as I need two more in my collection I need a mint on card one and of course the elephant in the room with this one is we do know there is a black chase edition so there's gonna be a chase of Jim and Brett just like the Sergeant Slaughter San Diego Comic-Con of uh, years past and it sounds like Coliseum collections going forward will have a chase black card variant no idea how many chases there are is it one out of every five one out of every four something like that I guess we'll have to find out, but I need to get a black set for my mint on card collection, and then I want a mint on card of the regular blue set as well, and then this will be my opener set here. So that's how that crazy collector's math does go, but March 14th is going to be D-Day here, and I see what Mattel is doing trying to make people buy multiples of these. Makes all the business sense. We put our business hat on. It does make sense. It is just a little bit of a pain point for collectors having to try to track those down. We do know the aftermarket will be all over these black card ones. So you got to be a little patient. Let the dust settle. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try my best there. But another thing I'm going to try my best on is, of course, unboxing this. And, of course, we're going to unbox this one like we do all the other ones on this very YouTube channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there, so without further ado, let's see what Brett and Jim are up to here. Of course, you got Brett Hart giving that classic pose right there, and Jim Hart, Nightheart, doing a little of the same, rubbing that goatee. Very patented Jim the Anvil, Nightheart. Ultimate Edition on the side over here, and then a little comic book uh, version of them, I guess we'll call it right there. Looking good. The Hart Foundation, one of the greatest tag teams of all time in the WWF. A favorite of mine as a little kid. Love to see what Brett went on to, of course, back in the day. But the Hart Foundation is what started it all for me. And truly, I was saying on the channel here, the old pink and black attack. Absolutely love that. And then, of course, you got the Hart Foundation on the back here. So beautiful Coliseum Collection packaging. Very on brand with what we see with this uh, going forward and what we've seen in the past as well. Uniform packaging, we're here for that. Of course, very LJN inspired, as we do know. It does say Brett Hitman Hart, Jim the Evil Knight Hart on the side. Once again, on brand there. And then I do got the blue cards here. I'm not really shocked. I anticipated probably the blue ones is what would be in here. And no doubt it is the blue ones. So there's Jim the Evil Knight Hart right there. And then, of course, Brett Hitman Hart right here as well. Going to stick those off to the side for right now. You do get that little separator in between. Beautiful for pictures. You get that WWE classic background, WWF, you know what I mean. And then you get the Coliseum Collection going on right there. And then very cool is you get all the signs and the fans. Uh, find everybody in there. My goal is one day to get this face in a crowd here. How do I make my face in here? I guess I get a piece of paper and I tape myself in there. Who knows? But... All kinds of familiar faces in there. I always look for Steve Osier in here. Is Steve in here? Where's Steve? Why can't I find him real quick? Maybe there's Bill. I don't know. I'll have to look a little bit longer. I know he's in here somewhere. I'll find him. I'll find him later. But beautiful packaging here. Even if you're an open box collector, you don't want to save it. This is a nice box to save. You can store your extra hands, your baggies of hands. A lot of use out of this box. Beautiful, beautiful packaging on these. That is to be expected, I guess. But now we're going to dive into the figures here. We're going to go one by one. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start with Brett Hitman Hart. That's where we're starting because I grabbed him first. How about that? But it is Coliseum Collection right there at the top. WWE logo as well. Looking good. Looks like Bret Hart as far as uh, the old LJN. And of course, we'll do comparisons later on in this video. So stay tuned for that. But Brett, a favorite of mine. Brett looking pretty good right here. Love the background with Brett. Very classic inspired by the LJN as we do know in this Coliseum collection. 
On the back, we got the cross cell down below. How about that cool cross cell looking very good? And then, of course, you get a tail of the tape. You get all kinds of stuff. Twist them, turn them, battle them. The ultimate collection is what's going on right there. Looking very good. It says accessories include action figure tag team championship, world tag team champion, ship, sunglasses, swappable heads, swappable hands. A lot going on over there. Very, very cool. And it says, Brett Hitman Hart, a 235-pound technician with speed, strength, and stamina. Hitman makes up the dreaded Hart Foundation with his partner, Jim the Anvil Knight Hart, and manager, Jimmy Mouth of the South Hart. This native of Calgary, Alberta, Canada is most definitely trouble with a capital T. Oh, I'm here for that, too. I like that. And then the cross cell down below. You can get, I believe, all these still on Mattel Creations. So head on over there if you want to. But of course, beautiful packaging design. Everything is removable. You can put it back together. Uh, we do really appreciate that. I guess it's nice for if you want to be an inbox or both, you can go back and forth and put them back in if you need to. But looking very good. Definitely packaging you want to hold on to. Anything special back here? Nothing really. I see Steve Osier right in between Bret Hart's knee pads right there. There he is hiding out. Hart Foundation, all kinds of cool stuff going on. But here for this, love the packaging, beautiful design on that. But now we're going to dive in here. I guess we'll start a little plastic prison for Bret Hart. Looking good in the plastic prison. Uh, any twist ties? No McFarland twist ties? Oh my gosh, how about that? Oh, there is one down at the feet. So you will know if this has been removed from the package because there is the twist tie down there. Uh, so you got to make note of that. Make note of those twist ties down on the feet. Not that big a deal for me. You know me, I'm an unbox guy, unbox guy. There it is, behind the back, see you later. Goodbye once again. All right, now we're gonna dive into a few of these things here. Let me get this box. Of course, this is kind of a nice little podium. That's what I was kind of think of these. Accessories included inside, it says on the side. Very similar to what we've got with the other Coliseum collections. And oh yeah, here we go. Now we're gonna bust it out. We're gonna pull all this stuff out. Nice little box, gonna stick it off to the side as well. But we do got accessories. We got hands and heads. So you can choose your own Bret Hart head adventure. And of course, we got to dive into these heads. And we got to see. We know Mattel has really struggled with Bret Hart. Bret, for whatever reason, is just one of those characters that really struggles uh, to moving into action figures. And it's been that way for a long time. I mean, that first Hasbro figure wasn't that great. The LJN was good, but the Hasbro, not so great as we do know. Uh, Toy Biz, Marvel, WCW figures struggled. BCAs weren't so bad. Classics were really good back in the day. And Mattel's had some okay ones, but recently there's been some suspect ones, I guess is what we'll say. But we'll dive into the head sculpts here, but let's go through these other accessories real quick first. Of course, classic tag team title here not sure off the top of my head is this the first time we've seen this version here with the gold and silver plate together usually we see all gold or all silver like we saw with brutus beefcake and maybe valentine in the legends line at least brutus i know this time very beautiful belt got the silver and gold attack definitely nice there's a lot of people that collect just the belts so i could imagine these belts would sell pretty well on the aftermarket if that is a, a thing out there now a really cool one right here is the throwback to the old ljn days i am here for that as well it is the classic kind of ljn tag team title belt looking good with that brown strap going on we saw that before of course with hulk hogan with the old school kind of throwback belts i'm here for that i love it whenever we get a new belt and very cool making this set a little bit more valuable with a new belt over there and a new belt right here Pretty cool at the end of the day, but we do get this one, and we'll compare it to the LJN one here in a little bit. But now we dive into the hands on this one here. We got two open hands here. Bret Hart, he's going to slap somebody silly, or he's going to give you one of these. He's going to give you one of these, more likely one of these. But if you're Vincent Mann, he might slap you silly. We know how that goes. Survivor Series, anyone? Or never forget the Survivor Series. Now, out of the package, he's got a Fist of Fury and a gripping hand. you got the alternates over here. So choose your own hand adventure. I'm here for all that. But now we're diving into old Brett Hitman Hart himself. He does got a toothache, it looks like. It almost looks like he's got an old-timey toothache, as we do got a uh, ribbon or a rubber band, easy for me to say, wrapped around his head. That is nice, though, because that does keep those glasses on him. So we do see these glasses might be a little bit hard to keep in. Uh, you never know how that might go, but he does got his black shades on here. Of course, Brett at this time just wore black shades. He wasn't all in on the silver shades or even uh, the gimmick shades, as they do call them. These are just straight up sunglasses, but they look really good, a little shorter. I think we've seen these before, and I'm sure we'll see them again as well, but black shades for Brett Hart makes all the sense in the world. But now we got the Hitman out. The Hitman's ready to go. And you know what? I think I would know this is Brett Hitman Hart. That's always the test, I say. Is it a perfect Brett Hart head scan? Not perfect, but I would definitely say it's Bret Hart. 
thing that uh, looks a little strange to me is I feel like he needs a little bit more poof at the top. Maybe a little more conditioner. I'm not sure. Uh, but he does got his black hair, of course, looking nice. He's got two eyes, two ears, a nose, and a mouth. Playing those human hits. We're always here for that. But it does look like Bret Hart enough. I do got a little black dot on his nose. I could take maybe just a little bit of acetone on the Q-tip and get that. Oh, nope, it came off. So I just had to scrub it off there. We had a little black push thing on there. Knock that off. But it looks enough like Bret Hart. Is it perfect? No, but we got to remember this is also younger Bret Hitman Hart from way back in the time they called the 80s. But we got two more Bret Hart heads here. And it looks like all of them have the hair down in front, which is an interesting look as well. I guess he usually kind of had it down, but wouldn't mind one kind of all straight back like that maybe. I don't know. You guys tell me how you want your hair on your Bret Hart. But this first head here, looking like a little bit of a smile going on here. Just kind of a little bit of a smile. He's not fully committing to the smile. He's not bringing the teeth out, but it does look okay. Uh, besides that, it does look like Bret Hart. I think I prefer the head out of the package to that one. And now we get down to the third head right here. And we got Brett, and this is probably the weakest link as far as the head sculpts go. I think the one that comes out of the package is the clear winner for me. He's got a little bit of open mouth there. Not exactly sure what's going on. I guess this could be a good one if you put the sunglasses on, you put those hands, give him one of these. That might be what this head sculpt represents. So it might look better with that whole thing. We'll do it for the glamour shots, of course. But three heads for Bret Hart, two, two um, belts, and an extra hands and sunglasses, a lot of accessories for Bret here. But it is, of course, an ultimate edition, which means ultimate articulation. Let's walk through that real quick. The butterfly shoulders looking good, arms all the way around for us. Bicep cut, of course, double jointed pinless elbows, playing all the hits, black elbow pads, white wrist tape, fist of fury back and forth, removable, of course, hula hoop at the top, traditional waist, Big ol' splits if you do need them, and then you got those drop-down hips. We're used to that with the ultimates. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Oh my gosh, some of the tightest knees in the game right here. But they are pinless knees, so we're definitely here for that. Got the black knee pads going on. Of course, you got the boot cut. Ankles a little bit back and forth, a little bit of up and down. Always kind of the weak link for the articulation for me with Mattel. Uh, but I do like tight ankles so they do stand of course you don't want any john cena problems where they fall over on you we also get a little toe articulation and we're all here for a little toe articulation at the end of the day and then of course he does fit on a mattel ringside collectible stand as you can imagine head over to ringside pick one of those up with code kyle save yourself 10 percent but Bret Hart looking pretty good right here. No real issues with this one. I like this Bret for what it is. I know the majority of people say they don't like their head sculpts. And a little bit of that is piling on. Some people do pile on there. But I will say they are not absolutely perfect. We're still after that perfect Bret Hart head sculpt. And when that day does come, hopefully Mattel sells like a 10-pack of them. And then we can put them on our older figures if we wanted to. But... For what it is, Hart Foundation, 80s Hart Foundation, I really like what I see with Bret Hart here. I love the accessories, love the belts, love the look. It's the classic Hart Foundation tag team. A lot to like about this, no doubt about it. But now we got to turn our attention over to Jim the Anvil and the Neidhart, of course. Jim the Anvil, Neidhart, looking good here. The big bruiser of the team, the powerhouse of the team. Very similar packaging design as Bret, as you can imagine. Classic WWE, Coliseum Collection, Glamour Shot. You got Jim in the package. On the back, we got the cross cell, we got the blurbs. Let's see what's going on with old Jim Neidhart. Same accessories we got with Bret Hart, just for the anvil, of course. Same cross cell down below, looking good, looking very classic, looking very LJN like in the cross cell. We're here for that. And that does say Coliseum Collection. Jim the Anvil Neidhart is one of the most powerful superstars in the WWE. Together with his partner, Bret Hitman Hart, and his manager, Jimmy Mouth of South Hart. He is also a member of the one of the most powerful tag teams, the Hart Foundation. And yeah, it's very true. He is. I could co-sign that. I do believe that as well. That is a true story. There you go. But now we got the packaging here. Of course, going to save that. Like I said, we're going to stick that off to the side. Put this over here. There he is in the old plastic prison. It looks like he's locked in around the ankles as well. Just like his brother-in-arms and I guess brother-in-law, uh, Brett Hitman Hart. And Jim Neidhart, definitely a guy that's very memorable from the 80s. But I think most people kind of think of him more as the Marty Jannetty. Whoa, throwing things around, including an arm for Jim Neidhart. Holy cow. Uh, the Marty Jannetty of the team, I guess, in some ways. And the arm did come off, but we do know with a lot of these ultimates, you can remove the arms if you want to. So that's a, a thing, a little pro tip there, especially if you're getting some of those shirts over them. You remove the arm, slide it over the top, bam, there you go. But the arm does come off, removable, as we just saw here. We got Jim all straightened out, but now let's dive into these accessories real quick. Same box we saw with Bret Hart, so we don't need to drain that either. The old plastic prison for the box, of course. Pull that out, pop these hands, pop the head. Of course, you gotta pop the head out, and then of course the sunglasses in there as well. We got twist ties all over the place. Let's clean up, clean up, midsection clean up right there. 
Let's dive into the hands first. So we got a fist of fury and a gripping hand out of the package. Got the exact opposite over here, just like we saw with Bret Hart. And then we got the finger pointing hands. I'm here for that. I don't mind that. I don't mind a little bit of pointing every once in a while. Hey, what you doing, brother? We got a little of that going on. I'm probably going to display him doing his goatee. That was just such Jimmy Anvil Nightheart, of course. Looking very good there. Now we do get black sunglasses. They are different than Bret Hart sunglasses for those keeping track at home. But of course, black sunglasses. Jim, also known for his sunglasses and all that crazy hat and the kind of cabbie coat and all that kind of stuff, if you remember that back in the day. We do get the same tag team title belts we got with Bret Hart. Very uniform. Of course, tag team, they're going to have the same thing. So we do get those once again. Now we dive into the head sculpts for Jim Neidhart. And I always thought Jim had pretty good head sculpts from Mattel. I never really had an issue with them ever. And this looks pretty good. You see this, you know exactly who this is, Jim the Evil Neidhart. Reddish hair at the top, reddish goatee, kind of a frowning face. He's got some eyebrows going up. He means business. He's a Jim the Neidhart after all at the end of the day. Second head sculpt here is a really good one. I like this one a whole lot. Of course, the goatee is there. It's going to be on all these. But it is kind of that smiling, laughing Jim Neidhart from Promos. This does look really, really good. So that is a good head sculpt for Jim Neidhart. And then the third and final one. Yeah, we got this one. Yeah, baby. Ha, 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 ha. You can see him kind of saying something like that here. A little crazy. I mean, there is teeth at the top, but it almost looks like he's missing his teeth, like his dentures are out or something. Uh, but it's a wild one, maybe too wild for my display. But right now I'm leaning towards the second head. I really like that one with the big grinning smile kind of going on. It looks really, really good. Now, articulation for Jim Neidhart. Don't need to walk through the articulation we saw with Bret Hart. It's the exact same thing there. Uh, but it does got two black knee pads, or I guess two black elbow pads. Let me uh, dissect my knees from my elbows. Uh, elbow pads over here. He's got the painted on wrist tape here in white, and I just knocked that hand, uh, arm out again. I'm going to stick that in a little tighter, I guess. Uh, he does got the black elbow pads going on. No knee pads on Jim Neidhart, but you do got the pink down there. The pink and black attack showing through, of course, matching outfits for these two. You got the classic anvils on the boots, of course, that we're used to. You got the singlet going on for old Jim the Anvil Neidhart as well. Looking good with the little heart there on the singlet. Looking nice as usual. The racing stripe down the side. I do got a little extra pink paint, a little spray over on the singlet. Uh, that's not going to be your mileage. will vary, of course, on something like that, as we do know. Uh, of course, heads are removable on this one, too. I don't know if I said that about Brett, but you would assume that is the case. Looking good, though. It does look like Jim the Evil Nightheart. I don't think there's any mistaking this one for anybody else, where somebody might say, oh, I wouldn't even know that's Bret Hart. There's no mistake in this is Jim the Evil Nightheart, really. It's a very, very good-looking Jim Nightheart figure. And then, of course, he fits on a ringside stand, just like his partner in crime, Brett Hitman Hart. Fabulous, fabulous. If you're a fan of 80s and even early 90s tag team wrestling, you're a fan of Bret Hart and the Hart Foundation, really a must-have pickup set for you. Your mileage will vary once again if you really need the black one in your collection. I do. I want to have all of them, but it's not going to be for everybody. But boy, if you get that one, hold on to it. You never know what you might be able to get out of it if that is your move. But I'm here for it. I'm here for more Coliseum collections. It's a throwback to my childhood, what I really like. So it's really nostalgic for these figures for me. Maybe you as well. And speaking of nostalgic, how about this one? LJ and Hart Foundation, Bret Hart, Jim Neidhart. Very, very cool. See these guys based off that. Very awesome thing, if you ask me. Very cool to have these guys. And I'm here for all these LJ and Inspired figures. I absolutely love the idea. Uh, it almost makes me want to display these all together, put their counterparts together. I think that would be a really cool display one of these days. You never know. We might even do it. And then, of course, going back to the Mattel days, he got the Hart Foundation from way back in the Elite line. Similar but different, of course. Old articulation, old head sculpts. I mean, this is from many years ago. Five years ago, what is time once again? Looking absolutely wild there. And, of course, you got to get a Jimmy Hart here to put with them. Of course, Jimmy Hart, the Mouth of South. We'd love to see an Ultimates manager pack one of these days. Maybe a Jimmy Hart, Bobby the Brain, Heenan two-pack or something. And I don't know how well it would sell, but a lot of us hardcore fans and LGM fans would love something like that in the future. We'll see if that is there. But, man, oh, man, a fun one here from Mattel. I love the Ultimate Editions. I'm a little bit biased here. But, of course, this is a Mattel Creations exclusive once again. March 14th, noon Easter time, going up for sale. Also, that Eric Bischoff Nitro ring going up for sale. It sounds like that's shipping in April. I do believe these ones will be shipping right away. That's kind of what we've been seeing. So you should be able to order, and within two weeks or so, what is time, once again, you should have these in your collection. So get ready for that on March 14th. I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. Playing all the hits right here for me with the Hart Foundation. Very, very good Jim the Anvil Nightheart. A very good Bret Hart. Your mileage may vary on the head sculpts, as usual, with Bret Hart. Just depends what you're looking for. But you can hide a little bit of it with the glasses, of course, if you need to do that. But a fun, fun set. And thank you to Mattel 
for sending this my way. But what do you guys think? Is this going to be a pickup? Is it a pass? A long game? A no game? Oh, it can't be a no game, can it? But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on this Heart Foundation Coliseum Collection 2-pack. What are you hoping to see as far as the next Coliseum Collection 2-pack? Have to imagine we'll be seeing that here WrestleMania weekend here in a couple of weeks. I'm sure they'll be announcing the next one there. We saw these, I think, San Diego Comic-Con for the first time. Should see that at WrestleMania, and then we'll probably see another one at San Diego Comic-Con as well. So stay tuned for that news here in about a month or so on the channel. And make sure you do subscribe to this very YouTube channel as we got videos every single day and then some. we got even more content for you over on Patreon. And Patreon, of course, includes both YouTube channel videos early over there. Bonus stuff as well along the way. So check out the Patreon if you want to support this YouTube channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget Barnes & Noble on Amazon for my new book, The Complete Guide to the Classic Superstar Series. Very, very cool. About 700 pages, as you guys probably do know by now. It is very much a labor of love. And you can see some heart foundation in this book as well. Big, big, thick book. I really do appreciate everybody that's purchased one of these. Like I said, truly a labor of love. Check it out at Barnes & Noble and Amazon. And if you want an autographed copy, hit me up on social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the Heart Foundation, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.